Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. We are building the Big Bird International Airport and at the moment the birds are still pretty small. Um, I do appreciate all your love and support so please hit that like button if you enjoy my stuff and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get right back into it. So in the last episode we started off by getting our one-way little drop-off system and our basic first little terminal in here. We've now um, allocated some stands for commercial flights to come in and hopefully we'll start making start making some money or seeing some money come in. Um, I do see that we've got a lot of these contractors hanging out over here. I just want to make sure that I have in fact dismissed all the contractors. This, okay, hopefully we'll see them all being dismissed now. That's going to be cool if we can do get that. Yeah, let's just get rid of all of them. I don't want to be paying their stuff. Okay, now let's get straight into what the next piece is. Now that we've got the basic passenger flow configured, and soon the terminal will be buzzing with life. Before that, we'll need to take care of uh, your future staff. Perfect. So we need a staff room, a few office desks, and some type of seating, decorate the terminal, and beautify the terminals and plants. Okay, that is fine. So if we have a look, uh, probably the staff room needs to be... Where exactly? I'm kind of tempted to do the staff room somewhere over here. So we don't block off um, the security too much. don't want the staff room over here. I want the staff room over here. So the ramp agents end up being pretty close to the... To the <clears throat> to where they want to be. Um, so a staff room... Um, uh, if we do a little something like that, I also will need some bathroom facilities. I'm just thinking about that. Okay. So there we go. And around there and around there. If you're wondering why the things built automatically, it's because I went into the F10 debug menu. This menu is F10. Um, and I've unticked the simulate construction and material pieces so that we can just get through to things quickly. don't want to spend ages building stuff. I want to actually get, get around to doing it. And I know, yes, that's kind of cheating, but um, I'm more interested in getting the airport to kind of work and function and all these kind of things without necessarily worrying about all the others. Okay, so now all the other uh, time taken in terms of construction. Now we need some um, uh, office desks and stuff, right? Staff. Staff, get some office desks, please. Um, do a little, little something like that, right? We'll do some office desks like so. So there's some office desks right over there available straight away. Then we also need some more other seating. So I'll do with some of these, some of these couches in here. Not what I wanted over there and we'll do another one over there. Then there's some a fair bit of room for some other stuff also. Um, do we do just some small other seating in here also? Or do we uh, go with something a little bit more fancy? Are we making this a fancy staff room or a not so fancy staff room? Not that way around, that way around. And then we'll do this way and that way. So that's uh, a few basic bits and pieces. Let's get it decorated just a little bit. Get a few plants in the corners over there. Something like that. Um, we have some kind of coffee tables and things like that as well, I'm sure. Where can we find that though? Some, some of these tables. Grab me a couple of tables like that. Okay, and then under shops we'll have garbage bins. I don't quite get if there's any other places we can get garbage bins, but we do need them, right? Templates. Oh, templates. I haven't... <clears throat> that's the one thing that's new. Create a new template. Paintbrush. Drag out to copy and paste a group of objects. Okay, so we can do some template stuff. At the moment, I'm pretty keen on getting us uh, some garbage cans, but it seems like that's not going to work. Then the next thing we need to do is get ourselves some flooring in here. 
Um, I always like doing a bit of a light wood floor for uh, for the staff room. And uh, I do like to differentiate my flooring between between the uh, marble. Well, fancy wood, nice wood. It's all like wooden floors and fancy mats and stuff like that. Let's get ourselves some fancy mats over here up until the secure area, I believe. Oops, I need one more. No, that's not what I want to do. Let's get ourselves some more of this fancy mats up there. Thank you. And then from there on out, we'll go and grab ourselves some marble flooring. Okay. Up there, at least it's not that pricey to do the flooring. Need to run the marble through there as well. And there we go. I've got some marble flooring going on. Excellent. Now we need some staff. We need to hire passenger service agents, security and ramp agents. Okay, that's good. So let's grab that. Get to <clears throat> um, actually staff applicants. Let's go for passenger service. We need four. I'll go with all five of them. We need a ramp agents. I'll go with all five of them again. We need security officers. I need all five of them also. And I don't think I need any of the others. Need to enable uh, ramp agent service rounds. Okay, and this one is for is going to be for staff, and that one is going to be for passengers. And we probably need to sort out a little bit of a queue over here. So let's just grab ourselves. A little bit of a queue like that. Thank you very much. Over here we'll do similarly we'll try and sort us out a bit of a queue over there and we'll just kind of end it off that way. So there we go. Some some stuff can can go. <clears throat> Why are these buses parked up here? Okay now what's the next thing? Now we finally accept the first commercial flights. First, we need to sign a master contract with an airline. Then the airline will offer flights that we can schedule in our flight planner. Okay, thank you very much. So we need to do some stuff. Then we get to the procurement tab, go to the offered contracts. Uh, <clears throat> and let's see. So who do we want to have fly with us at the moment? We haven't used, well, we've used all of them. Let's go with Fly Penguin. What do they offer us? A320s, CRJs. They're pretty big, these planes, actually. Is there anything that's going to offer us some smaller flights? Those are small. Just the A320s are a little bigger. <clears throat> my, my, maple. Um, wow, actually, Goose Wings is pretty good. I think all of them, apart from the A320, can, can be accepted over here. So, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Goose Wings one. So Goose Wings is going to be our first main contract. And then I'll go to the flight planner and schedule some stuff. As soon as there are, oh yeah, there's some stuff available for us. <clears throat> we can't get it for today still. So unfortunately the day is going to go by. So then we will slot this in tomorrow morning for A1. And then we'll give it a little bit of a breather. Just like that, 10 minutes later, we'll get another one scheduled. And I'm hoping there'll be plenty that comes in so we can schedule some more stuff. Now we need to sit back. You can view more of the details on the flights from the flight monitor, which is G. We just kind of says which flights are coming in and all these kind of things. Okay, now we need to turn around five commercial flights, but I am hoping, uh, I think I'll probably have to grab another one. Let's go and procure um, another one, Zip Fuel CLM. Are these small planes, ATR? I have no idea what an ATR is. Uh, hmm. That's, I think, an Embraer, which is pretty small. 
This is a small one, I think. The Cessna is definitely small. I'm not sure about the ATR. Well, let's grab it. CLM. We'll grab CLM as well. And then we'll go to the flight planner and uh, push a few more of the goose wings in here. Oh, that's just one that's going to be... Do that. Grab us a few of the CLM ones. Like so, yep. Yeah. So that's straight away going to happen. Oh, we've got some staff hanging out over here. I think Big Bird International Airport. Paul Smith is a passenger service agent and he's hanging out over there. Um, I need a little bit of room over here. So let's do a little bit of a queue. I'll just do the standard queue that I always do. I don't think there's a need for to do anything funny. It's actually quite a long queue. But it's okay. I generally don't do them that long. Excellent. Baggage handling will be kind of on this side, I think. So I'm going to do check-in on that side with baggage handling on this side. So check-in over here, then through to security. Oh, what do we need? We need some... Um, we obviously need uh, a bathroom. Let's do that. Slot that in there. Hopefully that is... Sufficient. We need a bathroom, guys. We need a bathroom. I am tempted to do the bathroom on the other side. I'll kind of just uh, do exactly the same thing over here. And we do... Yeah, okay. So let's uh, get some walls up and running. I think that's okay. Do a little something like that. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to make these two things bathrooms. So that's a bathroom and that's a bathroom. I want to put some doors onto the bathroom over there. One over there and one over there. <clears throat> and then in the bathroom we need some stuff. Okay, so first things first we need some of these. Well, let's actually see. When it comes to the cubicles... Okay, a little something like that, and then we'll do that. Yeah, that's pretty good. This one, on the other hand, we're going to do exactly the same kind of thing here. Um, we'll do uh, the stalls here. Come on. Like so, and we'll do urinals on the other side. So there's a fair bit of room. This is a male bathroom and we'll open it up for business. That's a female bathroom and we'll open that up for business. Um, I probably need to get some other flooring just so that we kind of indicate that that's a, a bit of a restroom in there. Yeah. Got a bathroom up and running. So that's actually, that keeps that area quite clear. Um, do we do um, any queues there? No, we don't. But we probably need to get ourselves a little bit of seating going on. I'll go with a large seating, um, kind of just a little something like that. So if we just do large seating in front of each gate, like so. That's okay for now. I think that's going to be sufficient for us. Uh, let's see, we've got some more planes that we can schedule. Let's uh, start slotting them in. Forty. I wonder if I add a bit of a bigger gap there. Something like that. We'll see how that works. Anything from these? No, nothing. So that's the two. So we'll see. Hopefully, yeah, the things keep coming in pretty quickly, actually, thick and fast. Uh, we'll get another one of these over there. Something like that and a little something like that. They continue to, to rush along. <clears throat> I had a bit of an error here which is now not there anymore. So I think things are going well. I'm hoping we'll see some 
some action soon, very soon. Oh, actually, the one-way system is starting to work. People are being uh, dropped off. Yeah, that piece doesn't work too well through there. We'll have to see how that works. Now, people are starting to come and work this over here. So we'll do a little bit of seating here, actually, <clears throat> while people wait. So let's get the large ones in place. Uh, I'm thinking like two of them. There and there. Excellent. So now people can actually wait while before check-in happens. People are getting through the secure area and going to their various gates. Okay, no available check-in desks for CL995 due to the check-in desks are occupied. Okay, so it's just this... Uh, well, we're so quickly through that. There's no one even here to want to check-in, so it should be fine. Checking desks. Is there... Do we have... No, I don't think we have any other ticketing, <coughs> ticketing machines over here. Okay, let's pause that game again and we'll get these other ones scheduled as well. Something like that. A little something like so. I think that's our first commercial flight coming in over there. Let's uh, repair that run. Ooh, I don't want to close the runway. Sorry about that. Okay, passengers are arriving, making their way through here. Oh, the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure I put a door in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where's my door? Large door. Uh, can I write over there? Thank you. People checking in. When are you going to start boarding at 7-Eleven? So it's still plenty of time before that's going to start happening. People making using are people using the bathrooms? Yes, they are in fact using the bathrooms. Do we have still like vending machines? I can't remember if there's vending machines that we can put in here. I don't think so actually. What are we doing over here? Now sit back. Uh, we still need five commercial flights to be managed. Um, okay, let's just close that for the minute. Let's see about scheduling these other flights. I will go to auto scheduling um, uh, pr practically as soon as I can. Um, oh, that's all of that for now. Let's see, how did you go in terms of your arrival and departure? It's you're, you're early, your departure time is, is eight. So you've you've got out of there early. That's that's awesome, that's very good. Good stuff, uh, we need to schedule another flight over here. Perfect. Perfecto. That's a slightly bigger plane. Yep, slightly bigger. Going to the bathroom on your way out. Excellent. Excellent. Loving it. Loving it. It's looking pretty good. The one-way roads work so much better. I do love it. Excellent. We're turning around quite a few of these guys now. Now, let's see. We'll fill out the rest of the day with this. That's pretty good. I'm going to squeeze you in there, like so. What else do we have? One more over there. Excellent. All looking pretty good. People should be pretty happy with us. <clears throat> the airline satisfaction isn't great. I'm assuming we're not offering them all the kind of cool stuff that they want offered just yet, like refueling. But I believe that would be the next thing. As soon as we turn around this first plane, it's due to leave now.
Then uh, we'll finish off that piece. GA Fly did not receive the requested service. The rating has decreased. <clears throat> why is that? Did you not? Why did you not get what you wanted for there? That anyway. Let's see. Okay, now we're done over here. So now we need to go to an international airport and start doing with some of the bigger stuff. So wow, this is going great. When you're ready, you can expand the small regional airport and attract some of the higher. Um, rated airline contracts. We'll need to build a larger aircraft stands and make sure our runway can handle jets um, that will soon land. Since all commercial flights use the Jet A1 fuel type, we should build a Jet A1 fuel depot just like we did with Avgas. Okay, so now contractors unlocked any adjacent land by clicking on the padlock. Okay, that we need to start doing. We need to extend the runway to 800 meters. We need to build a medium stand. We need to purchase at least a stair truck. We need to upgrade uh, yeah, the small stands to the concrete ones. Hire a procurement director. Unlock Jet I1 fuel. So there's a lot of stuff that we need to do. But first things first, we need to start looking at unlocking this. Did we just get a bunch of cash? It seems like we did. So I think what is going to be most realistic for me at the moment is to unlock this one, extend the current runway. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll expand our terminal over here for the medium one. So we'll run this one that way and we'll expand them over there. So then they can go and park in here and, and run out that way. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We got a million bucks somehow. Go to staff. Let's get ourselves um, uh, executives. Executives, please executives um i'm keen on a procurement director interesting hairdos that most of the women have in this uh, must be an executive hairdo um a procurement director at 29 an hour is kind of what we're going to go for the lowest um so that we've got uh we need to they're telling us to constantly redeploy uh, these guys so what i'll do is i'll deploy at least one contractor to kind of hang out over there um just so that they can see that that is okay now we need to kind of unlock this piece over here so let's unlock that piece through there then we need to kind of start going and extending this 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 air uh, this this runway um oh it's not not through upgrades it's just through ex it used to be through upgrades i'm pretty sure definitely was through upgrades unless unless what I do is I go with um, with the medium one and we just kind of overlap it a little is that is that the way no it does not seem to be the way so we'll have to just upgrade oh we probably need to upgrade it anyway <clears throat> concrete are we upgrading it to concrete for a hundred K or to asphalt Let's go with asphalt for now and now we can I'm not too sure why we can't extend it at the moment extend your runway upgrade to concrete or asphalt and allow medium aircraft why how do I something's something's amiss i don't quite know how we do that um i'm gonna miss i'm not gonna have that last flight for the day so let's um just move on to the next one and we'll start slotting in some of these these flights in here just like that and like so and like so Why am I not able to actually upgrade my runway? Is there something is there something I need to do? Hang on. Economy, procurement. Obviously not something here, right? I need to order this. So let's get the jet fuel service to be sorted out. But there's nothing I need here for longer runways. So that's a bit of an interesting one. 
wonder if I need to do approach lights. Okay, approach lights are in. PAPI lights. It's quite an interesting an interesting piece. Um, I think they go roughly about there. And now I have to be able to extend it, right? Is this, am I missing something? I am definitely missing something. Okay, build a medium stand and a stair truck and all those kind of good things. How do I... Is there another way for me to do that? Can I... Can I do this? Doesn't want to let me do that, does it? I'm sure you used to just be able to extend it from here. Can I... Do I need to do... Commercial flights is switched on, actually. But medium aircraft are not. And I need to extend it to be able to do that. Something's weird. Definitely something is weird. Definitely something isn't quite working at the moment. So let's uh, just continue to um, put these in. Can I do that? No, I need uh, I need some more, more people to come and work for me to do that. Okay, so that's okay for now. <clears throat> I'm a little worried. Let's just go through these things a little bit and see if there's anything here that I need to switch on and off. So, jet fuel we can't do. None of those things we can do. Is there any airport settings here that we can change? Doesn't seem to be that thing. Anything in procurement? I believe we already did what we needed to do here. So we should have the A, uh, A1 fuel is probably on the way. Anything over here that we can do? Doesn't seem like it. I wonder if there's a glitch or something. Okay, well, we need to expand our terminal a little bit. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a little bit more um, room over here. So if we say... Okay, so that's uh, that's just going to be kind of like the service road. If we wanted to get it to a tunnel, yeah, we may have to do it on the other side, actually. So let's do that. Now let's do six of them over here. So that's a pretty decent size there. Uh, we'll run, we'll run it in just a little bit for now. It's much cheaper to build like this, actually. Okay, so that's okay. So now let's just get rid of um, those pieces over there and like that. And even like this, we'll get rid of that. Okay, now, so this section is now open for business. We just need to get the secure area to be extended. Come on. So we'll extend our secure area over there and up there. Okay, and then what we'll do is we will go ahead and build some of the bigger stands. I don't believe we're going to need, um, it's going to be pretty pricey actually. So let's just say one, two, like so. So we've got our two stands over there. Um, okay, now with that in mind, maybe with those stands, we can now actually extend it. Still not. Maybe the next day? Somehow things are just not, not working out for us at the moment. Uh, let's close this thing so I quickly get the next flights scheduled. What are you saying? What's your issue? M missing path, the taxiway, blah, 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 all those kind of things. Um, keep going while I quickly extend this. And to be honest, we need to sort ourselves out a little bit on some of these things. So. 
seven wide like that. We'll have to see how we do deal with all of this. But we uh, first things first is I need to actually um, I need to actually just extend the stuff a little. Okay, so that's okay. But how do I extend this now? I don't think I'm going to be able to figure it out. I'll have to go between episodes and figure out what the, what is going on because it's not the same as it used to be. And I don't quite know if I'm missing something simple somewhere. It feels weird. Uh, not concrete. If we go here, asphalt. Yeah, it seems funny. Seems funny. Okay, guys, we're going to leave it there for now. So we've done our first day of commercial flights. Um, and in the next episode, I will hopefully have figured out what's going on with our runway. And then from there, we should be able to get some of the medium flights to come in. Our terminal is looking pretty good. It should be able to carry a fair bit of passengers um, over the short term. Um, but I am pretty keen to make enough money so that we open up these other areas um, and that we build a nice big runway somewhere else and that we can use a little bit more for our um, for our terminal and other services and things like that. This area is going to end up being a little bit too small, I think. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. If you've liked this episode, hit that like button. Put your comments down below. If you know how to upgrade this, uh, this runway, um, please do leave it in the comments. It may be quite helpful to me. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.